Now that we know the double angle formulae and the addition formulae, we want to be able to solve trig equations that look more complicated yet again. So I want to talk about this equation to begin with, and I want to say why we can't use the current techniques that we've got here. This equation that I have is 4 cos of x minus 30 equals 8 root 2 sine x, and we want to solve it for x being between 0 and 360 degrees. Now, the mo most important thing that you should look at when you're solving a trig equation is whether it is all in the same language. And when I say the same language, I mean that all of the arguments are the same. What did I say by argument? What does argument mean? Zahir? Yeah, you know, the input inside the function. It's the angle, really. I just say argument because I find it a bit easier to say, really. So in this case, the argument on the left-hand side is x minus 30, and the argument on the right-hand side is x. So what I've written inside that blue box is that the arguments do not match, and we can't solve trig equations just by dividing by cos to make it become tan. We can't just do that because the arguments don't match, right? If this was this equation, if it was 4 cos x equals 8 root 2 sine x, we could solve that because the, uh, the arguments match. And I could divide this by cos, and I could divide this by cos. So I get 4 equals 8 root 2 tan x. I'm allowed to do this because the arguments here match, so I can make it become a tan x. But in this case, I couldn't use that technique because if I divided everything by cos of x minus 30, this doesn't become tan of x or tan of x minus 30 because the arguments don't match each other. And so there's obviously that hint that I've written at the top that this is going to be using the addition formula. So I'm going to have a look at the left-hand side, and I'm going to expand out what that is using the addition formula. So cos of x minus 30, um, Imran, what does cos of x minus 30 expand to? Yep. 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 Good. And then on the right-hand side, we've just got 8 root 2 sine x, like we've got here. You can see why I wanted you to memorize what the sine and cos of 30 are. What's the sine of 30? Half. Sine of 30 is a half. So cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. So I can now go through here. I'm going to have 4 multiplied by cos x multiplied by root 3 over 2 plus, don't forget the 4, 4 multiplied by sine x multiplied by sine 30, which is a half, which is equal to 8 root 2 sine x. So this is 4 times root 3 over 2. That's 2 root 3 cos x. Then I've got 4 times a half, which is 2 sine x. And that's equal to 8 root 2 sine x that we've got here. And now the arguments are all the same as each other. So this is now the same as what we would have done in the end of year 12 maths, at the end of pure year 1. We can now solve this equation because the arguments match. But before I go about solving, I probably want to do one, a couple of things first. Any suggestions? Put the sign on one side. Good, put the sign all onto one side. So I get 2 root 3 cos x equals 8 root 2 minus 2 sine x. I've just factorized, I've put the minus 2 sine x and I've also factorized it straight away. Okay? And then, I already mentioned earlier how we solve these equations. What do I do? When we have a mix of sine and cos. We've already done the addition formula. We divide by cos x. So if I divide this by cos x, and I divide this by cos x, they cancel, and I get 2 root 3, that's a root 3, equals 8 root 2 minus 2 tan x. So doing a bit of dividing through here, that is equal to tan x. And so x is the inverse tan of this. I'm just going to save myself a bit of time, and I'm not going to write that in. So I'm going to do 2 root 3 divided by 8 root 2 minus 2. And I'm going to do the inverse tan of this. 
and your calculator must be in degrees mode because it's asking for it between 0 and 360 degrees. What did you get, Saria? Good, 20.4. Are there any other solutions? How do you find them? Add 180. It's tan, so you add 180. So your next one is 200.4 degrees. So we're only going to have those two solutions that we've got there because it's tan. If I added on another 180, it goes outside the range. Okay? So you may now have questions with the addition formula that need to be, that need to be used. Okay? You may have some questions with the addition formula that need to be used.